Hey yo, what's up? Maji here, and we are back with Dive into Dreamcatcher, episode 9. So, today we're going to be checking out the Scream MV as well as the dance video. And um, my research is a little bit incomplete on this, but I believe starting from this one, Handong is absent, right? And I don't know until which release she, she will be absent. Um, I just know it's for like at least a couple. If anyone can clarify that. Um, but yeah, regardless, uh, we are here to enjoy the music of Dreamcatcher. So let's get right on with the Scream MV. So here we go. One day suddenly the light did not come, people forgot how to say good things. Ooh, what happened with that tree? The aesthetics! Ooh! Loving the music as well! Ooh, does Sion have powers? Okay... What is up with that tree though? Ooh. That voice sample layer that's going along with Dami's lines. Ooh, what is this? It's very eerie. This seems so powerful. Ooh. I'm loving the aesthetic of the MV. Like so much. Ooh, a lot of interesting scenes. And now we have the that voice sample layer in going along with Gaion's lines. That voice sample Sua looks really cool with that sword Oh by the way, I'm seeing there's a dancer with a mask I think that that's supposed to represent Handel to be continued Okay Ah, oh, that MV just like gave me chills all throughout. That was such, uh, such an impactful MV. Like I love the aesthetic, especially with the, with the the tree and all the things that were happening to it, and uh, 
like the the different settings that the members were in and i also like that uh they still have like a representative for handong in there like i believe that would also go into the the choreography we'll see in the choreography later that um that actually is like a, a a plus in terms of choreography or like uh, stage performance because like when handong does come back she will still be able to slot into that uh choreography since there's a place for her right it's something that um that i i, I kind of you know like when members take a break in other groups it's something that's kind of sad that um yeah when there's a member who takes a break in another group they uh the choreography that they have for the songs that are produced during that break is just for the whoever current members are performing and so whenever they perform uh those songs in the future well the member who was absent just doesn't join in and so it 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 kind of it it's kind of disappointing going forward but at least with this one and we'll confirm it hopefully in the dance practice is that there is a place for handong in the choreography and so future future performances of this song uh well can include her anyways um yeah for the song itself i really really love the song it's that uh it has that upbeat uh edm rock kind of vibe and yeah it does sound like edm but the more hard-hitting rock version of edm and that chorus just hits you overall this would probably be my third favorite hit from dreamcatcher i'm so sorry um fly high and what are still my top two but this definitely overtakes all the other songs aside from those two so this might be my third favorite from dreamcatcher so far so far and it's just the song that like radiates a lot of power as for the story in the mv i'm not quite sure but i think there's a new story arc if someone could uh, be kind enough to explain it in the, the in the comment section down below i'd really appreciate it but uh yeah i think it has something to do with that that tree right um and the members of dreamcatcher one thing for sure duo was really really so cool uh holding that epic looking sword i don't know why but yeah like those are my favorite shots in the mv <laughs> anyways um let's get right into the dance video and from the thumbnail i think there are a bunch of dancers other dancers included as well i've searched for other dance videos on youtube and all of the thumbnails so far have other dancers in them except for maybe the special version that i think just has the members judging from the thumbnail um but if it's just the members like i said um handong will be missing from that 
and so we might have gaps in the choreography so it it also it makes a lot of sense to have other dancers um for the choreography of this song so anyways let's just go to the uh dance video of scream the dance practice room version here we go I really like just the dance practice room version because we get to see the whole dance. Quite a bit of, uh, you know, quite a few extra dancers added. Ooh, Gio was sitting on two of them. <laughs> I love that flip over there with with one turning the other way. Ooh. And there's the dancer with the mask representing Handa. This just looks so good. Oh, I really love it when they line up then fan out. Oh, the masks. Oh. Oh, love the use of props there. You know, it's just thinking, what if they perform this like in the future and Handong still wears a mask? <laughs> Or what if this is actually Han Dong wearing, wearing a mask over here? <laughs> oh, I love how they slow down there. Ooh. It just adds that extra attitude and epicness to the song for work from the other dancers I'm always loving Dami's lines in the in the songs of Dreamcatcher They're, they always seem so cool Love the textures. Okay, so that was the dance practice of Scream. And we are back to having a theme for their dance practices. So the main theme that, that strikes me in this one, I don't think necessarily is like the actual thing. It's just what hits me personally is that uh, I get this feeling of power. Like they, they have some, you know, fast sharp movements where uh, they are releasing that power, right? But to me, it's also quite evident in the slow movements, especially the parts where like it's deliberately slowed down, right? They use deliberate slow movements and it also gives me this feeling of power that's being restrained or controlled. 
and that's what adds to this what, what i call um textures when it comes to that so uh to explain texture is not just quite you know slowing down your like how fast or how slow your movement is it's more of like when you're doing slow movements like that it's it you're acting as if you're going against some sort of pressure and so it looks or it feels as if you are still exerting power against that pressure while you're moving um that's the best way i can probably explain texture in terms of dance and so the textures in this choreography are just really really well executed uh by the dancers the members of dreamcatcher just really everyone involved and so they make a lot of use of it especially you know uh, going into the chorus where you'd have expected um lots of fast movement because of the the beat but on contrary uh con contrary to that you actually have these slow down movements going into the chorus and yeah just really love the use of textures in this and it it lends to that feeling of epicness to the to the song and yeah that's that's basically what i mean by i get this feeling of power uh coming through to me with this choreography so yeah um i think that's it for my reaction to scream the mv and the dance video um really great song really great choreography not quite sure if this will replace what was my favorite choreography from before the breaking out choreography for me um it's hard to compare the two because they're just so different from each other but uh yeah the choreography for this song for me is like kind of up there uh yeah before i digress any further let's wrap this up um really love the scream mv as well as the dance practice so uh that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where i post uh reactions as well to longer form content more casual content most of which is available for free with some extra bonus content reserved for those who are kind enough to subscribe um so go ahead feel free to check out my patreon is in the link to that is in the description down below also uh if you uh if you checked out my previous reaction i did mention an update to my status uh where i'm trying to raise money for some uh for a surgery that i need to have done um if you would like to uh, uh know the details and find out how you can help um just check out the description box down below as well anyways that's it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this just amazing epic journey with dreamcatcher and until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now